So the idea of this tutorial is basically for people who have thought about streaming out to this TV type station thing that we've got going here um, and some things that you can do with it. What I was doing on Friday night with the karaoke stuff was so far advanced. I just did a blog post today about it. Um, it involved green screening and a very expensive piece of software um, that the school has and some other stuff and you can check out my blog if you want to do that timmyboy.com the latest post as of today has the dirty details of what I was doing on Friday but it doesn't have to be that hard uh, there are easier ways of going about this so the first thing that you would have to do to stream to justin.tv is figure out how you want to do that and there's several ways um, one of them is just through the website and that's what I'm doing right now uh, if you log in and you would need to get the login details from me. So if you want to do this, uh, just send me a direct message on Twitter. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it for now and just say, hey, I want to do some streaming on the TV station. I'll give you the login information. And then you'll log in, and there's a button in the top right, big, bright, and red, that says Go Live. And it's just a basic flash streaming thing. It'll pop up the little box that says, do you allow this flash object to take control of your webcam? and your microphone and you say yes and then you say start and that's all there is to it Twitter is tied directly into it so as soon as you go live it's going to tweet out from the DS106 TV uh, Twitter account and I noticed earlier it looks like that can be a little screwy as far as what the name of your stream is so it tweeted out that this is the um, this is live from the uh, zoo <laughs> live from Prospect Park Zoo uh, instead of what it really is which is a tutorial that I'm doing uh, but anyway so if you haven't already you should follow DS106 TV the Twitter account and that will help you know when things are going live um, so at that point you would already be live on the TV station as it were um, but what I wanted to do with this tutorial was show you how to get a little bit more advanced with that. So I'll show you here. If I switch. Um, got an option here. Select this. So this is what um, my setup is looking at right now. And this is using a program called Cam Twist. This is a Mac only program, I believe. So this tutorial, I'm just talking about Mac type stuff. Hopefully, some of y'all have Macs. If not, there are probably some other options that we can look into for Windows computers. But uh, Cam Twist is the name of the program, and you download it. And basically, the way this works is you would open up Cam Twist before you start your live stream. And I'll pull this up here so you can see. I don't even know how legible that is, uh, but basically the way Cam Twist works is it acts as a virtual camera, and instead of using your actual eyesight, it's going to use this Cam Twist feed. So when you open up Cam Twist, it says, "Well, what do you want to display?" And you've got a couple different video sources on the left. Of, left. of course, I have my webcam at the top, but I also have the option of showing my desktop. I have the option of doing a photo slideshow, showing movies, things of that nature. Um, but mostly what I'm concerned about is webcam and desktop. So uh, you saw earlier I switched here. I just had webcam full going. So if you select webcam and just hit select, it will throw it over here into the settings area. And there are no settings for webcam. It's just a full screen camera. You can also save a setup. So right now what I've got is I've got picture in a picture going which is desktop full screen and then the webcam I selected as a secondary source and clicked PIP. So it added those two over there and then I saved that and called it screencast with the camera. So you see my desktop full screen and you see my video in the bottom left hand corner. And I can switch between several different things. So if I go back here to webcam full and hit select, my video goes full screen. If I switch back to full desktop without the camera then you just get my desktop here what I'm working with 
So it's a good way, and this Cam Twist program is completely free. It's a good way for you to switch between multiple setups. You could add, for example, a screen that has your webcam but with specific text underneath, and you could make that show up, and then you could switch to something else um, so that you would just have the text up there for a small period of time. So you could get really fancy with it. Um, but the great thing about it is um, that it's completely free. I can do that, and everything shows up right here. Um, other than that, the other thing that I want to try out is with Skype. Um, who wants to Skype me in? So I know somebody, uh, if you have my Skype information, it's Timmy Boy, as is everything that I'm online with. Um, I want someone to Skype me in so I can talk a little bit about getting that to work. Uh, the, the trick to Skype is that you need to be able to pipe audio from Skype into the video source, um, which normally you wouldn't get. Do, do, do. Switch back here to full screen. Minimize that for a minute. So I'm checking out the feed here. <laughs> Mikhail gives us the real Prospect Park Zoo link. Uh, so if anybody is on Skype, we could do a Skype call. Otherwise, we don't have to. Um, Yeah, come on. Somebody can Skype me. That's all you. Did you forget your mask today, noise? Otherwise, I suppose I could just play a, a YouTube video or something if everybody's completely shy. But it makes no difference to me. The handle is Timmy Boy with four M's. So T I M M M M Y B O Y. Four M's. That is correct. I'm going to try and play Mikhail's video here. So, what I would do here is I go into Cam Twist. I'm going to screencast this here so you can see it. And I've got one for full desktop. And what I can do is I can do, go full desktop. And then switch over here to the video and make that full screen. And hit start. And hopefully you should hear what this is going on with. And he said 50 seconds in. So let's scroll over here. Give it thanks to Timmy Boy! <laughs> Okay. Say hi to Jim, too. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim Groom. What? Say hi to Cog Dog, too. Hi, Cog Dog. Hey, say hi to the noise professor. Hi, noise professor. Say hi to Dr. Garcia. What? Dr. Garcia. Hi, Dr. Garcia. Scott Lowe. Hi, Scott Lowe. Hey. What? And Brian Lamb. Hi, Brian Lamb. And let's see who else. Uh, say hi to Darcy Norman. What? Darcy Norman. Darcy Norman, Darcy Norman hi. Say hi to Grant Potter. Can't forget those, eh? Oh, yeah, Grant on the computer. Grant Potter, what? Friend on the computer? Yeah, he had the funny wig, right? Who is he? He's the guy in Canada. Hi, Grinders. Alright, now go have your cake, okay? Yeah, okay. Say goodbye. I want to say thanks. <laughs> Big thanks again to Timmy. Switch back here. Uh, hopefully that audio came through alright. Let me know in the chat if it did, because I wasn't really sure about that. Work to treat. Awesome. Um, the trick to that is using a program called Line 2. So if you're on a Mac, um, you want to get this program. And this was following a tutorial that Mikhail did on how to bring Skype audio onto your computer. And it uses a combination of Line 2 and Soundflower. So I've obviously got Soundflower running. And Soundflower is driving the audio from my computer into the, um, into the webcast. Line 2 takes my audio from my microphone and pushes it into Soundflower. 
So it's how you can take two audio sources and pipe it into one stream, because Justin.tv only takes one input. So it just says, where do you want your audio to come from? So the easiest way to do that is to say, take my audio from Soundflower, and then I'll pipe everything through there. And I can pull that up there here so you can see what that looks like. I'm actually not using this one, so um, move that one out of the way. This line two one is what I'm doing. So you can see it says input from my built-in microphone, which is this headset that I'm using, and output it to Soundflower. And I can see the level there so I know that my microphone is working, and it's piping that into Soundflower. And then in Justin.tv, I get to choose my audio source. And it actually won't let me click on that button. Not sure why. Um, but when you go live, it lets you choose what your audio input is going to be. And you would just choose Soundflower from there. And the only other trick to that is that on your system preferences, you want to go to sound and make sure that all sound output from your computer is going out to Soundflower. So the only reason you would need a second line in is if you want to be able to hear the audio as well. You would take Soundflower and output it to the headphones. I turned that off for myself because I didn't want to hear my own voice in my headphones because um, there's a slight delay with it. Um, I haven't played around as much with Line 2, or sorry, it's Line In. I keep calling it Line 2. It's called Line In. Um, but you can have multiple instances running and it works great. Now, Julia has sent me a contact request, so let's see if we can get this going. And I'm going to turn this on so I can hear myself. To headphones. Let's give her a call. <laughs> Hello. Hello, boy. What's going on? <laughs> you can hear it on multiple sounds here. Do I have an echo? Yeah. So should I? If you, have, if you have the uh, live stream open, you should mute that so that you only get it through Skype right now. Okay, I got it going on. Minimize the... You want real video? Real live? Yeah. And this, how do you go? That's not what I wanted. The video is black. Hmm. Oh, it's dark. That's it, cool. It's dark in your room, I think. <laughs> that works. You're on DS106 yeah. TV. Oh, my God. Is that cool? That was some crazy stuff you guys did Friday. Oh, wasn't it? <laughs> my Where wife... My wife walked in, and this was even before the whole green screen stuff. She just saw the two computers and the mixer and just said, you're a dork, and just walked out of the room. <laughs> yeah, your dedication to this project is really admirable. Yeah. Is this because they're entering the video phase of, uh, of DS-106, like the course? So you wanted to do that, or have you been working on this all along? I, I worked on it for a little bit, and then I stopped. So... I thought about it probably two or three weeks after the radio station. I was like, well, radio is awesome, and this is cool, but how do you do the visual stuff with it? And so I wanted to work on something like that, and I got the domain and started playing around with it and ran into a lot of hurdles with ads. Um, yeah, I know. I was, that's what I, my comment was about my skin's going to look really nice. I don't know if we all get the same. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> I'm getting... Maybe it's customized for my gender. I oh, that's... <laughs> like a clear cell or something. It knew exactly what you needed. <laughs> no. Um, well, the good thing about Justin.tv, though, is there's just that one pre-roll ad at the beginning of the stream. Uh, some of the other services I looked at had ads that would overlay on the stream and kill your audio and everything every 15 minutes. Yeah, I was reading... I read your blog post. Yeah, so... I'm all up to speed. Crazy expensive, too, to get rid of them. So yeah. this is not bad for what it is. 
You got a cat? Yeah, this is great. Uh, yeah, I have one crazy cat. I'm actually in my kid's room right now because she wanted company as she fell asleep, so she's listening to us Skype. Oh, cool. As she falls asleep. <laughs> listening to my sultry voice. Oh, no, you're on headphones. I'm on headphones. Oh, good. Just hearing, just hearing me talk. No bad swear. Yeah, I don't no, wanna, you guys can swear all you want. I don't want to give her nightmares. So. <laughs> this is the newly the new green. We just painted it this weekend. This is like a huge good. project. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you? We did it. it well, we got bought the paint Saturday at two, and we finished it this morning. So not bad. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I'm gonna get off here. I just want to make sure that Skype worked and the audio works. The only thing I can't figure out with this, and I don't know if you've ever dealt with that line in program, but I, I thought line is just a concept of what what the sound is you're using the line in. It's a concept, but it's also the name of this program, so it's a little so confusing. I Soundflower was the actual program. Soundflower takes the computer audio and pushes it out as your output, but line in you know, like allows you to push your um, microphone audio to Soundflower. Okay. So because in thought, you know you have line in line out. I thought it was like input output. Right. Well, the the problem is in Justin TV in the live stream. It asks you what audio source do you want to use. And if I do Soundflower, you get the computer audio, but you wouldn't get my microphone. And if I choose my microphone, you're not going to get the computer audio. It's one or the other. So I have to have this separate program, which is called Line In, that yeah. takes the microphone audio, puts it into Soundflower as well. And then on the live stream, I just say, use Soundflower as the audio, and it gets both the microphone and the computer audio. Might be what I was missing, because when we did our International Women's Day with uh, Dr. Garcia, I wanted to play music and Skype, and I can only ever handle the Skype. Right. And it was probably because of that. I was changing the line in. Like, you can go to your network, pref your preferences, your sound preferences, or you can change the line in to be right. Soundflower. So this There's program just program. lets you not have to go back and forth changing things back and forth with that. You just pipe it all in. So. <laughs> all right. So we called in and Skype works. That's great. We did. You need to write it all down, though. I can't. I yeah. not retain this, right? This is not. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be recorded, and we can check back to it. And you can edit yeah. my part out. <laughs> <laughs> Several more blog posts to come, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dr. Dr. Garcia would be like swearing and meeting some crazy people, and <laughs> this is like completely domestic and mundane. <laughs> Except for the cat, maybe. Anyway. You're, P right. you're PG to her uh, PG-13 oh, yeah. slash oh, yeah. R. So. She's rocking our world, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for calling in. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Right. Bye. So there you have it. First Skype call going on. Not the first one, but first one on this tutorial. Making sure it works. I'm going to switch back to my webcam here. So that is working. <laughs> You're rated G. <laughs> um, yeah. So everything seems to work pretty well with this. Uh, the best use that I can think of right off the bat is that I know Jim wanted to be able to take those Skype conversations that he was having with his students, um, had the Skyping people in to show them on their face-to-face -face classes. He could totally just do what I did and stream this back out to the TV so we could have the uh, visual along with the audio. Um, the only other portion of that is streaming to both your computer and the radio. I'm not going to do that right now because stuff's happening on the radio and I don't think there, it's necessary to do them both at the same time all the time. Obviously this tutorial is very visual and so it wouldn't really make any sense. Not that it makes sense visual either, but it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever on the radio. But if you want to do that if you've already used uh, LatioCast, you can just continue to use that. So if I had that running as another program on my computer, I could just turn it on, say connect, it's using Soundflower for the audio, and my microphone is two different inputs, and it's good to go. It runs perfectly fine in the background while you're live streaming. So that's how I do that. doesn't work with the mobile stuff, but it would work on a computer like this. So that's pretty much all I got, folks. Um, wanted to play around here on the TV. If you want to do this and you haven't already gotten the login information from me, uh, direct message me on Twitter and I will get it to you. Twitter handle is TimmyBoy, T-I-M-M-M-M-Y-B-O-Y. And we'll do this. I want more people jumping in here. I'd 
thoroughly enjoyed listening to Mikhail's kids <laughs> watching me doing karaoke earlier today. So it's a, this has been a lot of fun so far. So I'm looking forward to what, seeing what we come up with. So I will see you all later. And jumping back into radio and whatever else we got going on. Peace.